Oh boy, I found another TikTok teacher. When a person says TikTok teacher, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Purple hair, gender confused, woke agenda, global warming? Vote blue no matter who. That type of person? Am I close? Hey there, my fellow non-melanated female identifying people. So this is Heather Marie. She's a public person. I'll avoid her last name even though she's all over the news. She's been catching some heat concerning an accusation about indoctrinating her students. Let me be clear. Actually, hold on. I'll let her be clear. I don't want to misquote her. All right, all you right-wing conspiracy theory nutjobs who seem to think that teachers are out here just indoctrinating children into some sort of woke agenda that you can't actually define. Um, I'm just going to come clean. I am, in fact, indoctrinating your children. Uh, I'm indoctrinating your children into a love of reading and books, I hope, if I'm successful. Um, I'm indoctrinating children into understanding their own agency and learning how to think critically about the issues that impact their lives and how to not just accept whatever some crazy person on the internet says at face value, but actually, you know, maybe go and do their own research and find out if the things that people are saying are actually true. Uh, I'm indoctrinating children into wanting our world to be a better place. I'm indoctrinating children into being kind and loving and compassionate human beings. I'm indoctrinating children into having empathy for others. I am indoctrinating children into uh, wanting to be productive citizens of the world and giving them the skills to actually, you know, be able to support themselves someday. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm indoctrinating them. You're a hundred percent right. Now, at first listen, that can seem rational, maybe even sensible. But let's take a moment and just look at some of her beliefs and her morals. In her bio, she has a few notable tags. TikTok teacher in every variation, just to make sure she gets noticed. Anti-racist teacher, which sounds nice, but to be anti-racist, you need to be racist against white people. Social justice. Now, me, personally, I prefer regular justice. But social justice seems like separate justice for marginalized people. I love it when justice is different for certain groups. And vote blue. Well, there's certainly no agenda there. Let's get back to her video. All right, all you right-wing conspiracy theory nutjobs. Right-wing conspiracy nutjobs. Well, she's starting off by poisoning the well, setting the whole tone. You're just indoctrinating children into some sort of woke agenda that you can't actually define. Woke agenda that you can't actually define. Well, sure we can. You're trying to manipulate kids with cross-dressing closets, oppression Olympics, and separating kids by gender and skin color, then telling them how oppressed or oppressive they are? Give me a break. Uh, I'm indoctrinating your children into a love of reading and books. The love of reading books. What do you mean, like the genderqueer book or maybe Heather has two mommies? Have you seen the mandatory summer reading lists? and learning how to think critically about the issues that impact their lives and... Think critically about issues that impact their lives. Critically, critic, crit, crit, critical race theory, perhaps? That's that twisted belief that people of other skin colors are incapable of achieving success and need handouts and assistance from other people. That's disgusting and incredibly racist. Uh, I'm indoctrinating children into wanting our world to be a better place. Wanting our world to be a better place. You know, green energy, global warming, or one world government? Maybe all three. It's just basic communism. I am indoctrinating children into uh, wanting to be productive citizens of the world. Productive citizens of the world. She keeps referring to the whole world. She must want her kids to be just as productive as goat farmers in Pakistan who live in dirt caves, or computer waste recyclers in China who make, what, $3 a week in toxic conditions? 
Perhaps she means the lithium miners in Africa who make pennies a day and don't live past their teenage years. Yes, global equality sounds horrible. Okay, now I get it. She has very strong opinions, and I don't agree with them. That doesn't necessarily mean she's a bad person. She just has strong convictions, and she gets to mold the children in her school district. Which district? <laughs> well, Chicago. Chicago, of course. You know, the school district where most of the graduating class can't read. Yeah, check the video link above to learn more about that. Literally, they can't read. In response to a commenter who asks why she appears so angry, she believes conservatives are, quote, are legitimately trying to bring down our democracy, create a Christian nationalist theocracy, and literally unalive people. Thus, they aren't worthy of respect. Okay, got it. Well grounded in reality, I see. Lady, please turn off MSNBC for a bit. The world isn't trying to unalive you. And we don't live in a democracy. It's a constitutional republic. Such a misunderstanding for a teacher. Besides a teacher, actually she's a high school literacy coach, but also part of the school's equity team. A whole team for equity? You know, that kind of really explains a lot. They're so focused on making everyone equal they don't really care about teaching skills anymore, as long as everyone is just as uneducated as the least smart person in school. Let's hear it for equality. Now, she has other opinions. She made another video simply titled Unpopular Opinions. Just look at how smug and self-righteous she is. Spoiler alert, she doesn't understand how zero is a useful math concept. Homework is a waste of time. Zeros don't make any mathematical sense. Most grades measure compliance, not mastery of content. There's no real difference between a 78% and an 81% other than how much it hurts a kid's GPA. Parents in underperforming schools don't come to your curriculum night, not because they don't care about their kids, but because we've given many of them zero reason to trust us. And in fact, there really is no such thing as an underperforming school. Those schools are performing exactly the way they were designed to in order to maintain the existing societal power structure. Now, if you're worried about your kids in public school, just calm down. Now that the school administrators have been made aware, they've made some aggressive changes. <laughs> just kidding. They support her at Chicago. She says... My administrators fully support my First Amendment rights to free speech on my social media platforms. Heather Murray also points out, given how strong tenure and teachers' unions are in Illinois, any controversy over her remarks have been but a blip. I've really had no negative repercussions, she says. But this brings up the larger point about teachers and our ability to speak truth to power and to try to make sure we're creating schools that are um equitable and safe and helping to create the society we all want to live in. Now there she goes again with that equity. Yeah, it's better to hold the smart kids back while the less abled kids struggle. You got to keep everyone equal. Smart kids need to be held back and pushed down so they don't offend the kids eating paint chips who were raised on a steady diet of Pepsi and Hot Pockets. So this is the basic woke teacher in liberal towns. It's not going to change until you pull your kids out and the public school system dies. I'm assuming she's got pride flags all over her classroom. She probably finds subtle ways to sneak in how bad Republicans are. I'd bet she has anti-gun messages in her lesson plans. You know, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, class, if Jim Bob the Redneck has three guns and the red flag laws take away two, how safe is our community? Yuck. It's the little things that the kids will pick up over time. So yes, she is absolutely indoctrinating your kids. And she said it clearly, your kids. And she's also right that the teachers union in Chicago isn't going to do anything. They love this crap. Why would they change? If your kids are still in school, don't be surprised if they start to adopt her beliefs. She has them eight hours a day, 
and she can make their lives miserable if they disagree with her or they don't have the right opinion. Your kids will adapt just to prevent being ostracized. It's basic survival skills. Peer pressure is tough for kids, 